The Venera missions were a series of Soviet space probes that were sent to Venus between 1961 and 1984. These missions provided the first real images and valuable data about the surface and atmosphere of Venus. Although the first few missions failed due to various technical issues, subsequent missions achieved significant milestones in space exploration. The first successful imaging of the Venusian surface was accomplished by the Venera 9 and Venera 10 missions in 1975. Both spacecraft were identical and consisted of an orbiter and a lander. After reaching Venus, each orbiter released a descent module, which descended through the thick Venusian atmosphere using parachutes. Once on the surface, the landers deployed their imaging systems and transmitted data back to the orbiters, which then relayed the images and data to Earth. The landers were equipped with cameras that captured images of the Venusian landscape and sent them back to Earth over a span of approximately 53 minutes. The images captured by Venera 9 and Venera 10 revealed a rocky and barren landscape with a reddish-brown coloration. The images showed a relatively flat surface covered in fine-grained material, resembling a desert or a volcanic plain. The landers also captured data on temperature, pressure, and composition of the Venusian atmosphere. The resolution of the images was limited, with the best images having a resolution of about 150 meters per pixel. The cameras used on these missions were not equipped with color filters, so the images were transmitted in black and white. Despite the limited resolution and lack of color, these first real images from the Venusian surface provided crucial insights into the nature of Venus. They dispelled earlier assumptions of a lush, Earth-like environment and revealed a harsh, inhospitable world with a thick atmosphere and extreme surface temperatures of around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, 475 degrees Celsius, and pressures 92 times that of Earth's surface. The Venera missions continued to provide more detailed information about Venus in subsequent missions. For example, Venera 13 and Venera 14, launched in 1981, sent back color images of the surface, providing a more vivid representation of Venus' landscape. These early images and data from the Venera mission significantly advanced our understanding of Venus and paved the way for future missions to the planet. The knowledge gained from these missions has been instrumental in shaping subsequent exploration efforts and continues to contribute to ongoing research on Venus. The success of the Venera missions in obtaining the first real images and data from the Venusian surface inspired further exploration and study of Earth's neighboring planet. Scientists and researchers were eager to uncover more about the mysteries hidden beneath Venus' thick atmosphere and gain a deeper understanding of its geology, climate, and potential for life. Building upon the achievements of the Venera missions, subsequent missions aimed to refine our knowledge of Venus and address unanswered questions. The exploration of Venus continued with missions launched by various space agencies, including NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA. In 1978, NASA's Pioneer Venus mission arrived at Venus. The Pioneer Venus orbiter and multiprobe were designed to conduct a comprehensive study of Venus' atmosphere and surface. The orbiter focused on mapping the planet's cloud structure, measuring atmospheric composition, and investigating the planet's ionosphere and magnetic field. Additionally, the mission released four atmospheric probes into the Venusian atmosphere to collect data on temperature, pressure, and chemical composition at various altitudes. The Pioneer Venus mission provided valuable insights into the composition and behavior of Venus' atmosphere. It revealed the presence of sulfuric acid clouds and a high-velocity wind vortex near the planet's pole. The mission's atmospheric probes also gave us a better understanding of the planet's atmospheric layers and dynamics. In the following decade, NASA launched the Magellan mission in 1989. Magellan utilized synthetic aperture radar, SAR, to map the surface of Venus. By bouncing radio waves off the planet's surface, Magellan generated detailed radar images that enabled scientists to study the geological features of Venus. Over the course of its four-year mission, Magellan mapped 98% of Venus' surface with unprecedented detail. The radar images unveiled a variety of geological formations, including vast volcanic plains, shield volcanoes, impact craters, and tectonic features like rift zones and fault lines. These findings significantly expanded our knowledge of Venus geology and geological processes, suggesting a history of extensive volcanic activity and tectonic forces. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union continued its exploration of Venus with additional Venera missions. Venera 11 and Venera 12, launched in 1978, were part of a dual mission to explore Venus simultaneously. Both missions deployed landers equipped with cameras and instruments to study the atmosphere, composition, and physical properties of the Venusian surface. 
the landers of Venera 11 and Venera 12 transmitted images and data from the surface, adding further details to our understanding of Venus landscape and environment. These missions captured images of dark, rocky terrains and provided additional measurements of temperature, pressure, and composition. They also recorded sounds from the Venusian environment, which included the whistling of the wind and the mechanical sounds of the lander's instruments. In 1981, the Venera 13 and Venera 14 missions were launched, marking another significant milestone in the exploration of Venus. These missions featured improved camera systems capable of capturing color images of the surface. The color images sent back to Earth provided a more realistic representation of Venus landscape, allowing scientists and the public alike to appreciate the alien environment of the planet. The images revealed a diverse range of geological features, including large rocks, dusty plains, and scattered debris. The color variations observed in the images were interpreted as differences in surface materials and mineral compositions. These missions also measured the physical properties of the soil, such as its density and compressibility, and gathered data on the chemical composition of the Venusian atmosphere. In addition to the Venera missions, other space agencies embarked on Venus exploration endeavors. Thank you for joining.